Ramadan Picks Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to another episode of Ramadan Picks Allow me to share a hadith with you A hadith in which the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He told us of two bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He said ni'matani maghboonun fihima kathirun min al-nas There are two ni'mas, two bounties in favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Wherein many people are cheated wherein many people find themselves at loss. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained these two bounties and he says, As-Sihhatu wal This is health and free time. Health is a bounty that a lot of us do not recognize and realize until we lose that health. Because if you have the health, you busy yourself with things that are of enjoyment. You busy yourself and I busy myself with things which basically fulfill our desires. And we forget Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And similarly, free time as well. When we have the free time, we don't occupy this free time with those things that are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with those things that get us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These days are days which are really beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These days are days which are days in which you can get really close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, days in which we all can gain atonement for our sin. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us ease and tawfiq. I want to share with you a key through which you can gain a lot of blessing within these days. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had guided us and he said that every action which is of significance, Kullu amrin bal, every action which is of significance, if you do not start it off with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then this particular action will be like a human being which doesn't have hands. Who doesn't have hands? What does that mean? That means that if you have a person who has hands, and he sits before a table and he wants to eat and he tries to eat, he'll be able to very easily take the food and put it into his mouth or her mouth, right? And you have at the same time another individual who doesn't have hands and he or she tries to eat food, this particular individual will find it very, very difficult. It will be like literally carrying a mountain on his back in order for him to simply be able to take this food and put it within his mouth. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, that the person who says Bismillah and the person who doesn't say Bismillah, this is the difference between those two people. One of those people will be able to accomplish so much all because of the fact that he had gained the Barakah, he had gained the blessings from the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed of a surety, all blessing comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. So if you want blessing within your time, then start off your actions in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Finish off your action with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and recognize that every one of your action, not just being verbalized in the name of Allah, but they should be done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for this reason we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in extension all of us as well to say inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. Indeed my prayer Indeed, my sacrifice, my life and my death, all of that are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many a times we see stories of the Salaf. Some of these stories share with us that one of the Salaf, he ended up reading the Qur'an, one of our pious predecessors, he ended up reading the Qur'an, entire Qur'an in one day, or better yet, an entire Qur'an in one rak'ah, or better yet, an entire Qur two Qur'ans in one day, and so on and so forth. And then we look at this particular example of one of our pious predecessors and we say subhanallah how did that even occur maybe this is just a fable maybe this is just a made-up story but many times we find that even these stories come to us with an authentic chain meaning that we have to accept it so how do we reconcile between the time that we have and between the stories that we are gathering and hearing the way to understand that my dear brother my dear sister is that there are people amongst the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who Allah has blessed in their time and you know what blessing is? Blessing is like water, literally. The word baraka comes from the word birka, which is a pool. You see, when you take a pool of water and you fill it up with water, what happens? This pool becomes very, very steadfast and strong. And it becomes very difficult for you to empty this pool out with, any, with all of the water therein, right? So if Allah blesses your life with divine aid, Allah fills your life up with divine aid, then your accomplishment and the level of that accomplishment will become very, very great.
person may be able to read the entire Quran in one night and this is not far-fetched. Another may be able to do it in one raka'ah and we have reports of that and so on and so forth. So these 10 nights, do your actions in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reap the fruits of that blessing within your time. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you ease, grant us all ease, grant us tawfiq. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us make the most of these nights. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.